Hey Johnny, how much hearse purr is we gonna make? Not scare. Good enough. You might be asking yourself, Eddie, why did you and John just push the car into the bay? Well, I got a simple answer for that. Not without doing burnout, blow up the different. If you're not aware, the initial set of multi-air springs that were sent to John were manufactured at too low of a temperature rating. So I figured in order to be safe and proactive, I would put in the new revised multi-air springs before taking the car down to Torque Motorsports. I went, I got my new springs, I put them in. And then, being in a rush, I clamped the multi-air brick down using the bolts a little too quickly. And, well, I put it in crooked and I bent the uh, intake valve on cylinder one. So take a look at this. One of these things is not like the other. <sighs> Feeling kind of dumb, but hey, work on your own car. Sometimes you mess it up. Yeah, it is what it is. That's life. Fortunately, I was coming down here to replace the engine on Tuesday anyways, so the only difference was, yeah, I had to use a U-Haul. We all know that I want to make more power, and yeah, we need to go. kill some time while the QV engine is sorted out. That's going to take a bit more time. In fact, uh, we might do something even cooler to go with the QV engine, but that's for another day. So we need to get the engine out of the car first. There's a few things that are bolted to that engine that need to get put onto the new built engine before we can complete it. Uh, after that's done, John's gonna put the manifold on, start mocking up what he's gonna do for mounting the new turbo. Uh, there's a few things that are gonna be involved here. So there's a couple things that look like they're gonna get in the way. Uh, that coolant reservoir looks like it may be a problem, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now, John's already separated the compressor housing off the turbo. They gotta be coated before they go in there. From the very start, once we started dyno tuning this white 124, John had a lot of trouble making any power on it. It never seemed to really get anywhere. And then it made a weird sound and we thought, okay, multi-air must be gone. Now we fought with the car, the oil consumption was bad, it was a complete and utter pain. And we got the oil consumption figured out, but it still never really made much power. So the first inclination about the multi-air brick was actually correct. Uh, we never really looked too close at my multi-air brick when we did the springs, probably should have because we would have noticed this before. So what you're going to see is on the tappet for the very back of the engine. Now the valve that bent, that was at the front of the engine. So, just to clarify, it's a completely different piece. Now, John, you want to show what happened? Okay, so when I was looking at the brick, uh, the tappets, uh, right now we have no oil pressure on it, and it's all flush and flat. And so I was like, okay, so we have it sitting flush, it looks really good. And I was thinking to myself, well, why does this one, one of the tappets look further down than the rest? I was like, well, let's pull the straight edge out really quick, yank the tappets out, yank the springs out, we'll check with the straight edge. Well, what I found, when I put the straight edge on it, is it the tap it it is it's not the same height now you go across and check all these others every single one of these sit flush i physically cannot move this does not rock at all across all of them. i can put it across two of them i can put it across it doesn't matter what two i put it across but these here they're, they're physically there's a one's higher than the other all right yeah. so what we're going to do is i'm going to go through these thread in and out um I'm gonna thread this out. I'm gonna check for any debris down below uh, this particular one plunger. If we find debris in there, uh, we'll clean it out, put it back together so we can fix it. If we can't fix it that way, then we actually got a bad multi-air unit from the manufacturer. We'll have to rebuild one of mine. Okay. Not that. Hmm. That is entirely frustrating. Extremely. But you know, it's better to catch it now than later. Oh. And at least, John, you can say you were right, dude. Could you imagine? <laughs> If I would have been tuning that with the new setup, and I'm like, why are we not making any power? Oh. Well, John? I would have got drunk and went home. You get drunk anyways. I would have gone, ah, get drunk and tune? That just sounds like a horrible idea. Okay, it's time to pull the engine out.
way back down to the shop for day two. Uh, I already called a machine shop this morning and got something sorted out. So we have a machine shop to drop the 124 block F to get bored out and honed. So we're good to go. That's good. Yay! This is the dead eye. This is John's truck. John's truck is a 76 Chevy. And what's in the engine bay? Uh, 383 stroker. Yeah. It's a fun truck. Matt hates this thing, but <laughs> this, thing's, this thing's freaking badass. Look at this. Yeah. Well, that smells like an old truck, too. It really does. Complete with part of a gun rack. It's definitely a work truck. All right, we'll be at the shop in a few minutes. So we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna get some prep done on the valve cover and the turbo compressor housing. Uh, we're gonna do those in bright orange. I figure, you know, I've been doing the colors I want for a long time. This time I wanna rep John's shop. So we're gonna run the shop colors in the car. Uh, once that's done, we'll finish pulling out the rest of the engine and John can start building the turbo kit. That part I'm looking forward to more than anything. All right, so uh, let's get started with the turbo compressor housing and the valve cover. officially out of the car. Hey John, how do you feel? Uh, accomplished. So as you can see, this is the 124's engine. Damn. Is that in the rotation it's already gonna be in, roughly? Close. The turbo looks fantastic. But that color came out really good. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And I believe that that is... Lower than the turbo. Yeah, it's good, man. That's perfect. Okay. So, the highest point is the bracket right there. Okay, we're mounted. Okay. Manifold's on. I, can, I mean, if I wanted to, I could go through and tighten this down all the way. So it's not moving, but gasket in there just yet but okay well I think let's just leave it there John and in fact I think we're gonna leave this video there all right folks thanks for watching I'll catch you next time if you want to learn a bit about this car and why we're putting in a new engine you can watch a video on that right here if you want to learn about our Barth 500 there's some videos on that one right here now if you want to learn a bit more about John and his shop take a look at his stinger I'll put a link right over here and then if you want to subscribe Hit that one. Until next time, later folks.